Hello, my brothers and sisters, this is Anne, and today is February 27th, 2019. And I was given five visions from Yahushua last night. Now I'm going to put these five visions into two videos. In every one of these visions that were given to me, there was a baby involved. Yahushua is definitely trying to get across a message concerning this baby to me and to you. Now remember in yesterday's video, I was told that the baby in the vision was me. Well, what about these other babies that we're going to see? Please pay attention. These, vi these visions that I'm having go beyond me. Otherwise, he would not have commanded me to share them with you and with everyone. One person told me not to post on their page anymore because I was promoting myself. This is not true, brothers and sisters. I am sharing the information that Yahushua is giving me. God's ways are not our ways. I would be content just to keep all these visions to myself, but that is not the way he wants this done. He told me to share them or I will lose them. Are you offended because I speak of him showing me affection? I am only reporting the visions as he gives them to me. He wants you to know this. He is revealing things here, and if you choose to close your mind to hearing these things from me, you just may miss out on some very vital truths that he is now revealing to his people. Where is your love? Could this be Yahushua's way of testing your willingness to love as he loves? Can you get past the image of him that you have created in your own mind? And because he's not behaving the way that you think he should be, you will reject his messenger, me, and thus you are rejecting him? These are questions that you will need to come to terms with. I am a messenger. Now, I am showing you another side of him. I'm showing you the Savior's side of love. I'm showing you the side of your Savior whom you say you love. Now, will you reject him because you don't think he should act this way? No, I had planned not, I had not planned for this little introduction to be this long, but I just felt there was something that I needed to say. Um, I just, I just felt I needed to say that. So now in video one, we're going to talk about three short visions that I had last night. Um, the first one is called a birthday party in heaven. I named it. I woke up about 10 56 PM, which means this was on the 26th and not on the 27th, according to Roman time. And I saw a baby and a birthday party decoration set up. It said, happy birthday. And that's basically all it said, happy birthday. And I'm thinking, was this for me? Was this my first birthday? February 26th? Was this for Eve? Was Eve created on this date? Because see, my current birthday is not in February, but it's in September. But I'm looking at all of this and it's obvious this is a happy birthday. Happy birthday celebration. And it's being shown, shown to me. So I made a note. I said, well, this is very interesting. I'm not sure what this means, but I wrote it down. Okay, that was the first vision. In the second vision, this happened not long after this, about 11.39 p.m. I woke up and I saw a spirit baby 
come through my window. And then I saw the words I gave you. I didn't, it was something on the end of it, but I didn't quite see what it was. But I know that it said, I gave you. And I knew this was written by Yahushua. Maybe this was also related to the birthday celebration that I had seen earlier. I said, maybe this is about one of the children that he gave me. Now, remember, I have had a vision where Yahushua has told me that we have 20 children in heaven. Then I wondered, well, was this for me? Was he talking about me? So I was really confused. But uh, as I said, I wrote it down, but it seemed to be connected to the birthday party that I knew was going on in heaven. So did he mean that one of our children just had a birthday and, and it was in February? I'm not sure, but I wrote it down. Okay, the third vision. Now, I woke up at 12.47 a.m. and I saw a vision. I saw a baby, and it was in this place. Then it looked like someone saw the baby in half. And then I was able to see that it looked like some kind of workshop that they were in. And then I saw them saw the baby in half. It was very disturbing to me, even though I didn't see any blood. It reminded me of the ascension of Isaiah, where he was sown in half by one of the kings. I'm not quite sure which one. The vision ended, but I was very happy to get out of this vision. But like I said, in the vision, I was reminded of the sowing of Isaiah. So did this baby have anything to do with that? I wasn't sure. But then later on, as I said, I saw that this vision was in a workshop. So was this baby not a real baby, but a doll? But as I'm looking at this baby, I'm thinking that this baby was a real baby. And that is why I was disturbed. So those are the three visions that I had. Now, these visions led up to some very serious visions that I had later on in the night. And I'm going to clump those together in the next video in part two. But I wanted to get this one out first so that you will have this information in case you can see a connection to what's coming up next. So again, those were the first three visions and they all talked about a baby in some sense. So, shalom until the second video, which I will have coming up.